Do you frequently wake up in the middle of the night without any explanation? Has every single sleep hygiene tip in the book been thrown at you to no avail? Well, since you're searching the internet and trying to find a unique solution that works for you in this situation, has the thought of ever just embracing the situation occurred to you? I'll explain what I mean, stay tuned. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of Polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. Uh, so yeah, since I'm in a community dedicated to polyphasic sleeping, you best believe that I stumble across uh, different kinds of people with many kinds of different issues related to sleep. Uh, and one somewhat common issue that people have is that they wake up in the middle of the night, like clockwork, regardless of what they do during the day. Like, they will try to exercise during the day, uh, eat melatonin, avoid screens, pray, and so on, and nothing works for them. Um, well, if this sounds like you, uh, I'll explain an alternative, unconventional solution on how to fix your issue. Basically, you accept it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First a bit of background. So, before the Industrial Revolution, it was a common sleeping pattern for people to split their sleep into multiple parts. Um, as detailed in Roger Eckers' book At Day's Close, Night in Times Past. Basically, people would wake up in the middle of the night to chat, pray, have sex, and so on. This all changed once the Industrial Revolution arrived, uh, since people were forced to work longer days and simply did not have time to sleep in two chunks. Additionally, the Industrial Revolution brought artificial lighting, uh, which disrupted people's melatonin, or sorry, circadian rhythms. Uh, and there's actually a really cool research paper called In Short Photo Periods Human Sleep is Biphasic by Thomas Ware, where he explains that when you extend your dark period or the time when you aren't subjected to light uh, to around 14 hours, humans actually transition back to this old habit of sleeping. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. So. Now we know a bit of background for why the segmented schedule was a thing in the past, but why are you suffering from it today? Well, there, while there may be a bunch of different reasons for splitting the night, uh, you have already tried fixing it to no avail, so those aren't appropriate to you, no? Uh, why you sleep like this is because uh, part of you is still rooted in the old sleep pattern of humans. And we call this in the community being naturally segmented. And again, if this is the first time that the thought has occurred to you about fixing your situation, uh, this may not be appropriate to you. No, this is targeted towards the people who aren't able to find a solution to their problem, like nothing fixes it, okay? So if this is you, uh, you have probably suffered from a naturally segmented sleep pattern since when you were a kid or a teenager, uh, which can be rough if you feel like you have no way to control your sleep. So this is where my solution comes in. You accept that you will be waking up in the middle of the night and actually start doing it voluntarily. Okay, so this might sound crazy, um, but bear with me. Uh, there's a bunch of polyphasic sleep schedules that make use of sleep interruptions to improve your sleep efficiency. If you wake up after 3 to 6 hours of sleep, schedules like Dual Core 1 and Dual Core 2 will be best suited to you. If you are waking up only after, say, 2 to 3 hours of sleep, then the Tricore schedules will be the best ones for you. We've made videos on both of these schedule groups in the past past, and I can refer you to those videos, but they are quite old, so I understand if you don't want to watch them still, the link to them will be in the description. Uh, anyways, I'll just sum up the briefest points here that are useful for you, if you don't want to watch those videos. Okay. So Dual Core 1 is scheduled with two cores and one nap, and Dual Core 2 has two cores and two naps. Uh, the first core is a two sleep cycle long uh, core, and the second one is one sleep cycle long. So here's where the timing of when you habitually wake up comes into play. Um, if you wake up after that, then the dual core schedules are good for you, like you want to reduce the time that you spend sleeping, not try to increase it because you will just keep waking up. And if you wake up after 
at least one sleep cycle, then the Tricore schedules will be best for you. Um, you can have a look at Tricore 1 and Tricore 2 with three cores and two naps, and Tricore 1 has uh, three cores and one nap. Okay, so the initial goal here is that you secure your mental health. And you do this by adapting to one of the schedules with a total sleep time of roughly 5 hours. After that you can further optimize your total sleep time uh, like to shorten it or whatever you want. If 5 hours of sleep sounds too scary for you, like you're not ready to make that commitment, you can always just adapt to segmented or dual core 1 extended. Uh, so either have two cores that are 3.5 hours long or two cores that are 3 hours long and one nap during the day. This does of course necessitate that you're waking up after at least 3 hours of sleep. Um, if you don't want to shorten your total sleep time but you wake up like faster than that when you haven't slept as long. Take a look at Quad Core Zero, which consists of 1.5 hour long cores, four of them, uh, totaling six hours of sleep. Great, so now that you're aware of this alternative solution to fix your issue, which should no doubt establish control in your life, um, that's great. Unfortunately, acclimating or adapting to the schedule isn't an easy feat, and you're going to need to make sure that you're doing everything in your power to successfully adapt to it by adhering to your desired sleep times perfectly. Uh, prioritizing sleep, ensure altering your eating and training schedule to not, not with us mess up with the sleep times, uh, everything like needs to be much stricter. Until after you've adapted, after roughly one to two months, then everything will be more loose, you'll be able to flex your sleep times a bit and not be as strict. But for the initial one to two months, you need to be really strict with your sleep times, okay? Uh, unfortunately, I can't go into everything surrounding this lifestyle in this video. Uh, but if you look at the videos on this channel, we have a bunch of useful tips on how to successfully adapt to a polyphasic sleep schedule, uh, as well as interviews with experienced polyphasic sleepers uh, who are always good to watch or which are always good to watch because you will get the motivation you need. Um, I'll link a bunch of useful videos in the description that you can check out. Uh, and I would especially recommend that you check out our interview with polyphasic sleeper Jace because she's actually also a naturally segmented sleeper and talks about her experience with polyphasic sleeping and how it changed her way of life. Anyways, subscribe if you haven't done it already so you don't miss out on more tips on how to adapt to your polyphasic sleep schedule. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed this type of content and comment if you have any questions regarding the situation that you have. And I'll see you in the next video. Nap well people!